Announcing a new generation of owner satisfaction. We're so sure you'll love your new Oldsmobile. We'll let you return it within 30 days or 1,500 miles if you don't. Who else does that? Unlike some warranties, Oldsmobile's covers just one part. This is the part. Oldsmobile now offers roadside assistance around the clock, even in places where there aren't any clocks. The Oldsmobile Edge, there's nothing else like it. We miss Grandpa's birthday cake. I know. It's this fever. But the children's Tylenol is hard at work. Children's Tylenol. It's the one most pediatricians give their own children to bring fever down fast. Why trust anything else? I was feeling horrible, and Tylenol cold cleared up all of my symptoms. My eyes don't hurt. My nose isn't running. I feel great. Tylenol cold lives up to its name. It works. Tylenol cold. Trust it because it's Tylenol. Use it because it works. There are two parts to every person, your body and your spirit. But what is it like to be your spirit? What is the spiritual part of you? If you really want to see how spirits work on this level, watch an animal or a small infant. They use their sensing abilities like a spirit for survival. See what it's like to be both your body and your spirit and how you really respond to your environment. We're gonna do a little exercise together that involves sensing versus feeling. So before we start, I want you to get a household object that you can place in the palm of your hand. A piece of lettuce, a flower, a crystal, a rock, a feather, a small piece of fruit. Put your VCR on hold, get your object, and come on back. I want you to take your object now and put it beside you for a moment. And let's practice preliminaries. Let's release excessive energy. Just let it go right out of your body, through your extremities, through your feet into the floor. And I want you to just focus on your feet. I want you to relax your feet, relax your legs, tighten your muscles and relax your abdomen and your chest. Tighten your shoulders and relax them, your arms and hands and fingers and relax them. This is not a test. Let's relax your neck your head and your face and visualize your spirit around your body we're going to see what your spirit feels like and bring your spirit in your body so you can feel it now i want you to pick up your object put it in the palm of your hand and i want you to close your eyes and move down to your solar plexus and i want you to sense the object see what it feels like see what impressions come into your head you're experiencing the object the way your spirit would experience it. Just sense it and see what you feel. Now I want you to open your eyes and I want you to look at the object. Really look at it. Touch it, smell it if you can, rub it against your face, listen to it. This is the way your body responds to its environment. You register a response from both your spirit and your body to every single physical thing. Which part of you do you use the most? Why not use them both? Yeah, we we in the home stretch now, boys. We getting there. Hey, it's doing that thing. Hold on. I clicked. How dare I click? Yeah. The, 
The very first puzzle in L.A. Noir is clicking on the game and having it actually launch and stay where it's supposed to be. I made the mistake of uh, snapping a window in an, on my other monitor. What is it, error noise? No, that's the notification noise. You're, we're good. I'm pretty sure I have it set to run at administrator just to try to... My god. Oh god, I was going to probably click around a little bit now. Uh, had it start... I forgot what I was saying. Who cares? Oh yeah, I gave it administrator to try and make it as much like a uh, PC from 2012 or 2013 as possible. Oh, I think they had user account control by then. Whatever, it doesn't matter. Yeah, the poor Elgato. It's it's chugging. It's chugging along. I think I have to tab out and back in again. God damn it. Okay, are you going to survive this? How are we doing, Elgato? Dexter's Lab font? Okay. We got it. I got mouse control. Yes. No problem. Yeah, I was gonna just play this, but somebody on somebody in chat said they really wanted to see the end of Homicide. Homicide is just gonna be all women, huh? Dude with his goddamn pipe. It's his favorite whacking pipe. God, you were looking. Yes, I'm aware that it's an election year. Hey, poop virus. Keep a hold of your hut, counselor. Now is not the time to lose your nerve. But yep, we in the home stretch. Red dead. It would appear a that more days. Hot the rose gold wedding ring, a matching engagement ring. Sounds familiar. Dear drummer. Press the pawn broker and see what you find. The address is 348 South Main Street. The Muller case goes before the grand jury next week, and the DA does not want any egg on his face. Then get out to the railroad depot on Santa Fe Avenue. We have another poor unfortunate found this morning beside a railroad line. A 40 year old boy. Right, Skipper. The ladies are just dropping in LA. Another body on the car and Deirdre Muller's ring. The Emperor may soon have to come to terms with the fact that he's wearing no clothes. What exactly did you get that book of riddles shoved up your ass? Is that what your old man paid college tuition for? I mean, yeah. That bum took a swipe at me, I put him down with my sack. Yes, XP, I hear you, man. Just, just the fact that we get a new Rockstar game is... is it's a good feeling. It feels special. Uh, I'll call Rupert first. It kind of reminds me, like, whenever, like, a big Nintendo first-party game comes out, like a Breath of the Wild, whenever, uh, anyway, Valve used to put a game out, take it along which they say, the they keep saying they're gonna do. Hugo Moller was identified by the school. I have my doubts. He's our guy. Witnesses have fingered the wrong guy before. He ran for God's sake. And he always maintained he was set up. Huh. Yeah, Bruce and I are playing a Rockstar game. We're both we're both doing our homework, you know? Catching up. Catching up on the unplayed. I like have PC now, so I'm gonna miss Red Dead 2. That sucks. That sucks, but how can I help you boys? Hey, if you can't throw money at something, you're always going to miss out. That's just the way of the world. Phelps and Galloway, <clears throat> LAPD. You have a rose gold wedding and engagement ring? David Bremner. Am I going to get something for this pledge? I gave that bum money, now you guys are going to leave me short. How much did you give him? 50 bucks. Try another number. 20? Try 10. Feel lucky you're getting it. I have the rings right here. <laughs> that guy rules. I am feeling better about Rusty as we go. He's rough around the edges, though. Is there just nothing on this one? Oh. What's this mark here? 
Maker's Mark, usually traceable. That one came from Hartfield's Jewelry down on Broadway. Thanks for the tip. That just tells me who made the ring. I'm kind of more interested in who murdered the person who had the ring. And I know who that is. Does this mark mean anything? All mark. Gives you an idea of the quality. Hello, Esmosh. I haven't, <clears throat> haven't been streaming for, for long. Probably won't stream for long. I was hoping to knock out the, guy who brought these the homicide cases, but we'll see. The name of Percy B. Shelley. Gave an address. 15 Poland Street, London, Tulare County. Can you give us a description of the man who pawned these rings? I'm oh, not sure. Medium height, medium build, dark hair, I think. Sorry. He just had one of those forgettable faces. We'll be in touch, Mr. Bremner. Well, that gave me fuck all, aside from a ring maker. But what is that guy? What is that? What is they gonna do? Tell me who bought the ring, because I know that. I don't know. I feel like I didn't get much out of that. That's not my car. Oh, Taco Cub. It's like. Reminds you to it reminds me how Taco Cat is a palindrome, and then I was like, Bucko Cat is also a pretty good username. But Taco Cub is pretty good. Alright, time to go straddle another dead woman. Sometimes I think my job can be challenging. could have the local troopers check out the Blair County address. The address is bogus. The purpose having fun with us. Yeah. The guy who's been sending the Dahlia letters is also the guy who pawned his rings. How do you figure that? Percy Bysshe Shelley wrote the poem that came with the Dahlia letter. The Dahlia letters are genuine. The man who killed Elizabeth Short may have also killed Dear Drummond. And how do we prove that? That's tenuous, dude. Skip rate. That seemed like a car I don't have. We're gonna have to rely on this guy tripping up on his own. Hold on, I'll get back to that after I finish stealing this car. The car, police. Not on your life, Buster. Yeah, I'm, I'm hoping the Red Dead has has legs in terms of like online play, mods maybe. Again, all all kind of hinging on PC. It'd be nice to GTA Five is great. I love it, but. I think I should try something new. Then again, I always feel like there's tons of potential I never really got into with GTA V. Never really had the time. Dealing with, dealing with Dark Black Dahlia Killer? That's the implication. Which is cute. I'm not gonna lie. That's cute. I like that. It's not quite as ham-fisted as, like, being in an Assassin's Creed and being like, Oh gosh, there's Galileo! Oh, hey there! I was just busy looking at the planets! They're round, you know? And you're just like, hey, okay. I'm getting better at driving, okay? Follow me. I think I'm not that bad, especially since I'm on keyboard. We should keep this development with the ring under our hat. We're all on the same team for us. Chain of command, though. The skipper will decide who needs to know. Got it? I get it, Russ. Even Bruce, the Force Awakens premiere a few years ago, and I almost shit my pants. All the stuff you guys are doing. Well, thank you. Man, Force Awakens is Art. the best. Yeah. I look after all the rail. But I appreciate that. Thank you. you. The Negro, Nelson Gaines, called it in. I came down here to make sure him and the other guy, Jameson, stuck around. Well, she Jameson. got to keep her clothes. Something like that. Guy makes me sick. We'll talk to the coroner. Keep an eye on Something like that? Did he do something to it? <sighs> Alright, time to get me a good squat on. Smell? Very good. There is the usual evacuation smell, but it appears she's been living rough for quite some time. Oh. Very strong smell of alcohol. Well, the autopsy will tell, but I would assume that she was inebriated. Huh. Gotta admit, this is the second time I've heard the word evacuation in that context in the last month. What's up, Brian Dat? 
Hello. Ring missing another again. missing ring. Museum in LA with a section dedicated to the Black Dahlia. Really? Which one? Do you know? Exact about the time of death. No later than 2 a.m. The state the body was in, a one or two hour window is the best I can do. And Joker's here. Thank you. Oh, the Museum of Death. Yeah, yeah. I actually went. I was close to that recently. Oh, arson. Okay. What's the time of death? After midnight. Okay. All right. So wait, if she was homeless or a vagrant, why did she have jewelry? Hey, Digital Tears. Uh, just started playing L.A. Noir. Got the hankering watching these streams. And I do stop catching spoilers. Have a good night. Well, cool. I'm glad to... Uh, or rather, I look forward to hearing your experience with it. Some cases seem like they're just really, really hard to nail the first time around. This is a chit for personal items, not booze. It's not even worth investigating. Yeah, she doesn't seem like a vagrant to me. Just been at a bar. How common were matchbooks, truly, I wonder? Oh. Notes. Maybe someone at Mensch's will remember her. Hey, what's up? Well, in August, um, is Bruce done streaming? I hope he was still going. I always feel bad streaming against people. That's kind of why I didn't tweet about it. I'm like, eh. We could go over to the lot and see what they know about her. That's going to be difficult, Cole. Keystone Studio lot closed back in 41. Is that a really old parking slip? So P. Walter? I've caught one of your streams before. Glad Jack sent me this way. Also, thanks to all you fans for finding our raffle stuff for our extra live stream. Oh, no worries. <clears throat> How was the Museum of Death? How tempted to go when I'm down in LA? I haven't been. I've been to the one in New Orleans. And it was, uh... It was a downer. <laughs> um... <clears throat> the one I went to was not... Was not whimsical about it at all. It was, no. It was, a. Uh, all Chronicles of Death. It makes you think about it. Makes you confront it. Should I go to the one in New Orleans? Um, it's not happy. It's not a happy time. But uh, yeah, if you if you have a pretty strong stomach and you don't mind dwelling on bad thoughts or like uncomfortable thoughts, then yeah, you should go. But it's um it's intense. It put me in a mood, man. I'm not gonna lie. Oh, you can't stream immediately. No, 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 no. Don't do that. How about you guys go to Bruce's stream? How about that? How about that? Yeah, yeah. You might want to warn them, but you, yeah, take a slice of friends. It'll. You know, I think you'll definitely learn learn about people. Being a mortician is the same way. You get used to it after a few months of work. But I'm curious as all heck. Yeah. I I, I wonder how novel it'd be for you. I guess I'm curious now too. I'm surprised we haven't gone. Knowing uh, knowing Steph, Steph and her love of dying and skulls. It's an hour drive back. Nice long time to contemplate dying. Yeah, just quietly staring at the road. All right, I gotta pay attention to this. Connecticut. Oh, she's an alcoholic. Someone was trying to get her to come home. So she worked in the legal department for studio. Potentially has been employed for a while, unemployed for a while. I think you're blissfully unaware. Is that the end of clues chime? I guess so. But I haven't talked to this dude yet. You get clues from this guy putting recording devices in the place. Detective Phelps and Galloway, homicide. Can you tell me exactly what happened? We were shunting cars over to the main line when I saw this man here lying on top of this woman. Oh. The woman wasn't moving and seemed to be in a bad way. Oh. What time was this? About 7.30 this morning, sir. Thanks for your help. 
Have you given Patrolman Hart your details? I have, sir. Thank you. You can go now. Oh, man. Detective Phelps, LAPD homicide. John Ferdinand Jameson. We need you to answer some questions, John. If you don't mind, I prefer Ferdinand. Don't push your luck, knucklehead. What were you doing to the body, Ferdinand? Are you sure you won't be upset? Try me, Ferdinand. I was kissing her. It's not against the law. Shut up. There's no Take law your against it. Like a man. Turn out your pockets, Ferdinand. Why did you take the lipstick? Classic Carmine. Is this yours, Ferdinand? No. I found it near her purse. I thought she could use some lipstick. Rusty, stop! Don't hit him. Damn it. You uh, went through her purse? It wasn't like she needed it. I took a look. I mean, this has got to be a doubt, right? Because I'm supposed to, like, be mean to him? No? What did you write on her body? What are you talking about? I didn't write anything. Is that the truth? I don't understand, man. You found the body? Yes, I did. I work here. I was coming off shift and headed home. I know he's shifting. Why didn't you report the body? Okay. Do you know how this is going to look to a jury? A jury? What gives? I, I can tell that she was dead. I came through here about midnight last night. She wasn't here then. Let me belt him again. You're under arrest, Jameson. We'll see how this plays out. Until then, you can think a little on how you'd like to be treated if you were found dead. I'm telling you, it's not illegal. Me and some friends of mine... Oh, man. Fly. You get this sack of shit into a cell, I'll deal with him. We all do it. We all find dead people and smooch them up. We smooch them up real good. We just get all smoochy on them. We call ourselves a smooch crew because we like to smooch up dead people. It ain't no problem. We all said to each other, we said it's good to smooch. It makes us happy. It makes us feel good. It ain't no problem with that. Phelps, Jesus. that's yeah, Corpse kissers. How can I help, detective? I need an address on Levine's Liquor, closest store to the Santa Fe Avenue rail yard, if possible. Just a moment, detective. Oh, Twitch Prime no longer stops ads. Closest yeah, that's all Twitch Turbo now, isn't it? Three nine South Hope Street. Thank you. A cob makeouts, good. Uh, still snoggers? Mm, doesn't quite roll off the tongue. We're driving this. It's the English division. Yeah. A little a little too forced. What's the point of Twitch Prime if they took the best part of Twitch Prime away? Uh free video games, dog? I don't I honestly don't know. You can give give two fifty to a streamer every month. Which I don't even know why there's like a split on that. Does that mean like that's just Amazon paying Twitch whenever you hit that button. In which case, that's weird. That's weird, man. Uh, but yeah. Oh, thank you, Mountain. I guess I reminded you. But thank you for the 250. We survived this. It's gonna be a miracle. Uh, yeah. Other little, other. I guess you get the thing next to your name. Your bar the. Put Trump subs actually give 250. So there are uh, <clears throat> people have different agreements in place about revenue splits, but the partner agreement that I signed way back when was just a 50-50 split. So if a if any kind of sub, including Twitch Prime, is five bucks, 250 of that goes to me. As paid through Twitch, and 250 of it goes to yeah. Twitch. Yeah, I read about that. <clears throat> so I assume the same applies to Prime subs. Yeah. Want to sell the food to fund the civil war against the communists? Really? I guess that's okay then. Damn right. Armies can't fight without food. Fuck the communists. Spend all your money on weapons, but you still have to have the will to fight. 
Unfortunately, the Reds will win in China. Watch your mouth. You know what you're saying? The people of this country over the king. You think the Chinese will balk at an emperor if they're starving? KGPL to all units. Citizen reports. Man. He's right. Union and Rockwood Street. That was a comment on the communism thing, not Twitch Prime. Unit to handle code two. Identify. I don't know. Ca late game capitalism is kind of funky. Hitting a button while watching a person play a video game to trigger a 250 payment from one parent company to its sub company. So you can continue watching people play video games. That's pretty... That's pretty out there. That's some pretty woo capitalism shit. It's a hard woo. Game capitalists, lots of dice rolling. I guess that was the 40s. You seen any gritty, gritty Antifa memes? Memes? No, I don't really follow the meme wars. I stay out of those trenches. I see it bubble up. But, uh, doesn't RT take a cut as, <clears throat> as well uh, on top of that? Um, in. Lately, yes. RT kind of. Got everyone to sign off on their, their network, so there's a revenue split there, too. So, yep. Being a kept husband is a... has its ups and downs. Oh. Come on, now. <clears throat> Reading a book that's a bunch of interviews of Soviets and former Soviets? It's really sad. Oh, just about... What life is like? From what era? Man, this calls way the fuck out here. Saddest book I've ever read. Oh. Man. Capitalism has problems. I'm not gonna lie. Namely that there is, there is like, the Earth itself. And non-renewable resources aren't really factored in. It encourages, it encourages wanton consumption. Um, so that's kind of an issue. God damn it! I said cough it up! But it does a pretty good job on a lot of other things. I've had enough of your gibberish. Fuck! Man! You can't do that. You cannot do that. Hurry! You can still catch him! I should just fucking... I should ice this guy. This is a real piece of shit. He's real fast though, wow. Not today. People weren't starving during the whole time. They had food shortages during Perestroika. But economically, the Soviets had no money because of their war in Afghanistan. I've never really understood that. Um, the anim animation of them like loading a, loading a corpse into the back of a car. It's all just so dutiful. Um... So this, that's something I don't understand. Like, wars have pulled... have always been good for America. Monetarily speaking. And that's a whole... a whole problem unto itself that I'm not qualified to talk about. So how is it... and, and uh, this is coming from a place of pure ignorance, but I'm always confused how other countries will be economically devastated by war. America, like, it, it stimulated entire economies, got people working, and in World War II specifically, like, 
introduced a whole new workforce of women. The U.S. doesn't fight wars in America. Well, that one was... It was in Afghanistan, right? But... I guess they, had, they shared a border. We just shipped everybody to another country. Also, the U.S. has an arms industry. Well, the Soviets made their own weapons right, too, right? Again, I'm not... I'm trying to learn here. I, I genuinely don't understand. It's all about infrastructure. When Afghanistan has a war, their factories get blown up. When the U.S. gets in a war, factories go into overdrive. Oh, okay. Once USSR spent a large amount of its GDP on military. Hey, so do we. We being the United States. What a shit show, that's all I'm qualified to say. Yeah, I imagine it was... Well, I don't know if exciting is the right word, but... Interesting times to be alive. I wonder if this era in American history, people look back on all the... All the mass shootings and think about it in the same way. They're like... There's always this, this spicy fear running through society. That either Russia was going to drop a bomb on you or some... Asshole who, like gone down the YouTube well too hard and been on too many forums that tell him he's a piece of shit over and over again. Just loses it. Hey, Joshy. Welcome, welcome. Is Bruce done streaming? I thought about watching his stream for a while. Red Dead actually looks really good. Remastered and stuff. We're running on a 1X. He's still going? Oh! You should watch his stream then. Damn, now I feel bad. I was thinking about it, I was like, well, I was weighing all my, weighing all my factors. I was like, I don't want to stream while Bruce is streaming, but I want to play Red Dead, or L.A. Noir, but there were people that said that they wanted to see me, like, finish Homicide. Some people, I think it was one guy, but... This is car 11 King, go ahead with the further. 11 King, 2459 suspects. You should have iced those folks. You leave no witnesses, you stay out of the park. Not riding all the way to Santa Ana and then on to Cincinnati with you pissing in my but ear. But I'm tired of always being on the lamp. I don't have a choice. A stick-up charge is still a stick-up charge, and I ain't going back inside. You're both coming with me. Don't do anything stupid. The car chases are pretty fun. Oh, that is... That's a vehicle I definitely don't have. Oh! Christ! That was a hard hit. That was a hard one. Does damage that you incur during... Uh... Street crimes? Does that factor into your... Ranking? We're good! You said I wasn't good at driving. Whoa! Pin him, Cole. Spin him out. I'll try to shoot out his tire. Wish me luck. How the fuck did you turn like that? Ugh. Oh, it's cool. It's cool. It's good. It's good. We're good. All right. Shit. What the hell was that? Oh, I'm losing some speed here. It's making a sound. All right, we're good. I'm back on it. Damn it. Another alleyway. Oh, 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 oh. Don't go to sleep, Bobby. Whoa. Close. Show me your hands. Yeah, I'm definitely using keyboard. It's a ch it's an interesting challenge. Car 11K calling KGPL. Code 4 at the Lucas Avenue trolley station. The 459 suspects are in custody. Roger, 11K. All units, code 4 on the 459 suspects at the Lucas Avenue. Oh, I know where to catch them before that crash. I am the game. People, I think, 
I think in that case, it did seem a little like on rails. It did seem a little like the car was just hitting key, like key checkpoints and stuff. But people, people have said, and it seems to be true that in other in other situations, you can uh, like it is variable. You can end it before it hits a conclusion. I guess I ran those over. Uh oh. Oh, that's not good. Uh oh. When the textures don't pop in, and the car just stops. Hmm. I think we hit where the simulation breaks down. Whoa! There it goes. All right. when the crew of the Truman Show dropped the fucking ball. Alright. You should save. Yeah, I backed up my save a while ago. Hopefully that wasn't... That didn't seem like a save glitch. Or something that would glitch a save. Just a little... A little hung process, maybe. We're cruising now, though. God, I remember... PC ports are getting buttoned up pretty good nowadays, but back in the day, when you played, like, games... Developed primarily for PS2, largely, that assumed a lot about the rate at which data would get loaded into memory, and the like, even down to the rate at which data would get read from the disc. Uh, you saw a lot of stuff like that on PC, like it, things outrunning each other, and just having to just wait because the programmer said that, or the programmers assumed that you wouldn't, or that like data wouldn't be in RAM for like 18 more seconds. Because that's how long the loading screen was supposed to take. Really interesting. I always loved seeing, like, games don't break like that anymore. Kagiri, yes, the game definitely gets slower when I speak. It's, it's side-chaining, so yeah. It goes down when I talk and comes back up when I'm not. NASA recently designated a constellation for Godzilla. Awesome. What can I do for you? LAPD, Phelps and Galloway. We're making inquiries into the murder of Evelyn Summers. Evelyn? She's dead? You knew Evelyn Summers, Mr. Robbins. Yes, I knew Evelyn. I was a good friend of her ex-husband. She kept some of her stuff here. Can you show us, please? Sure. Come this way. Hula hoops. No, I'm, I'm not using widescreen fixer. I'm, I'm not using anything. This is just the game that I bought on Steam and patched. Had to had to do some fucking registry massaging to get the damn thing to run, but some poking around on the old Steam forums, but I got it there. Oh, Rusty. He's joking, Mr. Robbins. She's man. You gotta be a professional fucking alcoholic to sleep in the back of a liquor store. That is some next level. Sister? Mother? I'm going to Los Angeles, mother, and I will be famous. I think I got a reading Aristotle. I think I got addicted to caffeine the other day. Sitting there working on something in the morning, drinking coffee, and just thought, what if I just kept drinking? I ended up giving myself a very mild amphetamine-like high, so that was my weekend. So wait, you drank coffee until you, like, freaked out? And she was borrowing books from Grosvenor McCaffrey. Who that? She wasn't always such a loner. A cold shin. Oh, we got mirrors. Motherfucker, screen space reflection. What? Exactly. Did Evelyn work in the pictures? A few years ago. She worked in legal copyrights for me. Okay. I'm guessing Evelyn hadn't held down a job for 
quite some time before she was killed. I drank a lot, I did a bad thing, and now I'm hurt. And now I hurt. Oh. Rawlings. I know that place. Corner of 9th and Grand. A lot of cops pulled there on Tuesday nights. Are you still, uh... Are you still sleeping it off? Like, you still feel it? Clues all got, I guess. Not one of those, I want no girls in video games, they're bad people the other day. They're as dumb in real life as they look on the internet? Aww. I... This sounds stupid, but I always genuinely hope that somebody surprises you, you know? One of my favorite things is that moment when your brain has to open up and accept something that it never thought about before. And it bums me out when people have the opportunity to do that and don't. We're trying to account for Evelyn's movements yesterday. She came by in the morning. A social visit to pick up some of her things? She had a couple of bucks and bought a quart of rye. He's, he's dead-eyeing me. I'm gonna truth it. Any idea where the money came from? Nice. She didn't mention it. But she did say the booze was a present for a boy. She said they had been fighting and she had to make it up to him. Aww. I got so drunk in the army one night, my buddy taught me how to play the ukulele and I totally forgot how when I sobered up. I wonder if you actually learned or if you were just grunting and pawing at the thing, hearing good music. Oh. Yeah, you guys... Definitely don't be messing around with opiates. <laughs> I don't know what's going on in chat, but I think Zaxby's got good advice. No, I'd, growing up in a small Texas town gives you a particular window into, like, methamphetamine and opiate abuse. It's not good. And I think everyone everyone has a moment... But having cops in the store scares away customers. Shut up. Everyone has a moment where they problem themselves they can handle it, and then it just takes people. Were you and Evelyn I'm pretty sure I had an problem. uncle. Get grabbed by that. He didn't see it much. She's gone. I'll be one of the few. Oh. I think that's another truth. He's just sad. I got the impression that Evelyn had been sleeping rough of late. It became difficult for me to have her stay here. Her mother was trying to get her back on the straight and narrow. She's old now. To be honest, you have to have a good reason to want to get back on. Hmm. That's a perpetuation of drug stigma predicated on a false assumption. Uh, Kratom has helped, has helped many addicts wean themselves off opioids. It is helpful and should be an avenue for treatment for addiction that people can access. I mean, yeah. I can only assume that people were talking about recreational use. Not... Uh, not something administered by a professional in a controlled environment. But man, I don't know. I don't know. I'm talking out my ass here. All I can say is that I guess in my personal life I've experienced more hurt from people that have abused drugs than have been administered them in a path to get better. Uh, those sorts of drugs, I mean. I've had an Oxycontin in my system now and then. By the name of McCaffrey. Then again, I've... Not personal. Also had surgeries. There's some look away. There was a little look away. He ended his first comment with, It should not be legal. The war on drugs has never worked. It will continue to fail addicts every single day. Oh. Oh. Oh, uh. I don't think that means that all drugs should be legal, you know? I do think that, yeah, that's a doubt then. We are struggling for leads, Robbins. Did she know McCaffrey? She idolized him. What I gather, the feeling was far from mutual. He seems to peddle a revolutionary stance, fixing huh. the ills of society. You could see how it would appeal to down and outs like Evelyn. We got a communist here. 
Thanks for your help, Mr. Robbins. She's got a fucking red on her hands. Hey. I'd like to make arrangements for the funeral. You think I can get in touch with Evelyn's mother? Put in a call to the watch commander at Central Station, Mr. Robbins. We'll be trying to... Thanks. Get the guy, huh? Evelyn never heard anybody. Yeah, I'm still on homicide. I, uh... I don't know how many cases are left. I think somebody said two cases left in homicide. Which, yeah, there's probably probably not gonna finish that tonight. Six-year-old parents are super pumped to try <laughs> to try weed now that it's legal. They learned so much about it this year and totally 180 their views on it. I'm so happy. That's awesome. Uh, yeah, I guess I'll go to the bar. Fuck it. I guess you're in Canada. Out of the way. I'm more important. Getting their little toot toot on. I well, swear she didn't smoke pot in college, but I saw the poetry she wrote. <laughs> yeah, it seems like out of all the man, out of all the things we're getting shitty about the world, it is nice that it seems like the system's working at least that regard. That like places are passing legalization and. Nothing's changing. People are still going to work. People are still living their lives. Except that now, it's all, like, taking a load off cops for dumbass laws that don't matter. The state's making more money. Everything's great. Drink, fellas. Phelps, Galloway, homicide. We need to ask you some questions concerning Evelyn Summers. I'm Walter Match. Evelyn Summers, what is it now? You knew Evelyn? As well as I wanted to know Evelyn. She's a pain in the ass, always coming in here, cadging drinks, never had any money. She was in just a couple of nights ago. Did she ever tell you where she was staying? I don't know. I think she was living rough. She had that kind of stunk about her. Who did she drink with? Uh, a bunch of these guys. Ask her out. Stunk? What's your name? Grosvenor McCaffrey. Mind if I ask you some questions, Mr. McCaffrey? I'm just a starving writer, Detective. Oh, this fucking guy. What do you want to ask about? Evelyn Summers, and why she was found beaten and strangled in the rail depot on Santa Fe. Okay. I see your point. How well did you know her? I can't say that I knew her. It was more like I was aware of her. This fucking guy. Do you have a criminal record, Mr. McCaffrey? Nothing serious. I've had a few skirmishes. His head is like clipping through his ascot. I mean, that's definitely potentially a doubt. I don't think I got anything on this guy. It's just the book, really. So that's a doubt. You want to save me some time, or do you want me to look up your file? Industrial disputes. Oh, thank you, Millennius. Millennius, excuse me. That kind of thing. A regular fifth columnist. Nice to meet you, comrade. <laughs> Fucking rusty. Ah, oh, that's awesome. Need your opinion. I'm a parent say a weed shop should be named Grassachusetts. Is a bad idea. I disagree. I disagree, too. I think, uh... I think weed stores have the best names and that you are doing your best to push that forward. It's like pho shops, uh, barber shops, um, and, uh, and weed shops. Those are like the ones that always have pun names and I love it. There's some one, there's like Indicut. I'm like thinking of some like barber shops around here. Getting faded, that's real cool. <laughs> that could be a weed shop or a barber shop, shit. Let's play a game, barber, barber or weed store. I'm going to open up an edible store called Baked once my area legalizes it. You say you barely knew Evelyn? Get stoned in a fresh cut? Oh, man. That is correct. Yeah, the barber I go to now, Blind Barber, they actually serve drinks. Like, they'll give you a drink when you get your hair cut. It's fucking awesome. Well, brother, I got a book that says otherwise. You're lying, McCaffrey. You looked down your nose at Evelyn, but you knew her, and you have some idea of what happened. I hope you're holding aces. Oh, this. Telling you again. 
I barely knew the woman. This fucking guy. This fucking guy. How about a book, asshole? Why would you lend her your book on? I love reading so much, nerd. You were in passing. It was more than that. A Renaissance man like yourself lending his books to his acolytes. She hounded me about that goddamn book, and then she lifts it from my apartment and lies to my face that she didn't take it, as if she could even comprehend any of it. I saw her go into a hotel with Tiernan last night. They had booze in a paper bag. He's your man. Thank you for the information, Mr. McCaffrey. That's the lead I got for actually getting that thing right? Interesting. You a friend of Evelyn Summers? Who's asking? Very cute. You know who's asking. I know my rights. You don't have any. Answer the question. Evelyn mooches for drinks. I don't have any time for that. Was that so hard? <laughs> Keep writing me, copper. I want more of that, dude. Well, okay, I got a name. Maybe I can follow that up at the uh, the bowling alley. There's any shit going on back here? Planks, aha! This is a bar that serves of wood instead of alcohol. You're under arrest for impersonating booze. Reading you from Los Angeles. Oh, I can look up the name on that. Yeah, the call box. Radio seven sixty. I wish we were getting a spiritual sequel. Uh, Shenmue Three is coming out. I'd say that's probably as close as it gets. Hey, J Man. Phelps Badge, twelve forty-seven. How can I help, Detective? Messages for me, please. A message from Captain Donnelly. Return to Central. Go to. Oh. Thanks, man. All right. That was dumb. Massachusetts. I'd go there. A little long. Used to ride a motorbike to work. It's not actually a motorbike. It is an electric bike. And yes, I do. Whoops. Yes, I do. Should I go to the bowling alley first? I guess if they left a message, it's important. Also, how did men's hats not blow off? I rode in convertibles. There is no street in LA that's this wide. Spring? Uh uh. Parking lane is not that wide. I guess it's supposed to be a bus lane? Man, no way. Let's see. Well, I guess maybe it wasn't like that then, but now. There is not there is not a spot on the street that doesn't have a car in it. Street parking was like I remember when I was moving to California for the first time and I was like calling ahead about apartments. And they said, oh, there's not a parking lot, there's only street parking. And I was like, street parking. I came from Texas. There are parking lots everywhere. I just, I didn't know what that meant. I like, what do you mean park on the street? On the street. Like, in the street? How? There's no lines there. Then I knew. Then I knew the horrors of street parking. Did I ever learn them? The captain is downstairs with Ray Pinker and Carruthers. What is that? That bum took a swipe at me. I put him down in my sap. Yeah, I'm thinking of moving up to a 45. I want to put him down one round. Is there vehicle damage? Yes, there is. Going to church doesn't make you a Christian any more than staying in the garage makes you a car. That's the cop from the newspapers. The random, the random barks from NPCs in this game are so strange. This is the one of the few games that I felt got as much accolades and acclaim as it deserved. Huh, that could be taken two ways. Like, was it praised enough that you felt it deserved it? Or do you feel like people might have praised it more, but it didn't really deserve all that? What's this about, Captain? 
Ray and Mal have some concerns over the Henry and Muller cases, which I don't want aired outside of this room. The evidence is solid, Captain. I agree, Rusty. It's just that corpses keep piling up. Copycats. I've been banging the same drum. But the notes and the lipstick messages. Evelyn Summers, cartel classic Carmine. Each woman, same brand, same color. Teresa Terrelson didn't have a lipstick message. Technically, you're right, Rusty. She didn't have any lipstick. But she did have a message. We found it beneath her dress, scraped with a sharp stick. What did it say? You sure you want to know, Ray? Gotcha, Millionaire. As far as we can sure, okay. it said cunt BD. That's one way of looking at it. Looking at what? Cunt is all about access, Phelps. You're married, so yours is mortgaged. Some of us like to pay by installments. This guy doesn't like to pay at all. Why are you so angry, Mal? Because I just had to fire one of my assistants. He was a friend of Jameson's. God knows what he might have been up to. Got the right amount it deserved. It clearly had a limitation based off the time period, but it was still well done. It's up to you to decide how we proceed. Keep this under your hat for now. Um, Follow up on Evelyn Summers. Yeah, Leo Poo, Rockstar published this. Team Bondi, or Bondi, developed it. We got our orders. Back to the Summers case. Get an address for McCaffrey. He'll have blown the bar. I'll meet you outside. This guy gave his wife a tap. And say all's fair in love and war. This game bankrupted the studio. Yeah, I guess I guess it didn't sell well enough. What does BD mean? I don't. We don't know either. It's part of the mystery. Putting you through now. Phelps, one two four seven. How can I help, detective? I need an address for a Grosvenor. That'd be such a good like ringtone message. How can I help, detective? <laughs> yeah, Joker. BD stands for Bad Detective. Thanks. Yeah, 77 Hockey, they they had announced a game called Horror of the Orient, which, now that I'm playing this game, ah, oh, I would have killed to have played. Just that title from these people? Yes, please. But it kind of dissolved. Didn't work out. BD stands for Big Dick. Let me pose a question. Depends. What's it got to do with? Morals. Would it bother you to put the wrong person away? Depends. On what? On whether anyone except the poor son of a bitch in the Slam River found out. Rusty is a salty dog. Got some comedy happening. Man, have you guys seen The Honeymooners? Like, have you ever actually watched The Honeymooners? That shit is the most non-comedy that has ever existed. But, it does make me at least feel like, okay, if people liked this, now I understand why it's in the human experience to also like Everybody Loves Raymond. They're basically the same show. Out of the way. Yeah, I ran a couple red lights there. I'll file a report about it, it'll be fine. I gotta get to the bowling alley. Whoa. I love Lucy still holds up. It totally does, actually. Lucy will ball, man. Too good. Too good. Ran shit. Funny as hell. Like, smart. Could execute like great comedic timing, great physical timing. <laughs> hey, sure you king. Yep, every rockstar, every rockstar game has to have a bowling alley, and it doesn't. It? So you live in LA? How often do you see old buildings like this one? These ones in the game? Fairly often, actually. There's just more stuff around them now. Detective Phelps, homicide. You must. Be. Indoor voice, brother. What's your shoe size? We're conducting an investigation, ma'am. Do you know the name Evelyn Summers? Sounds like I... Hey, BB number nine. Thank you for Prime 7. Any Halloween plans or costumes? Uh, I'm gonna stay here and give out candy. 
here now. Drink wine. He's oh. a pin setter. Okay, all right. One day he introduced me to a lady after work. Stuck in my mind. Because she was much older, too old for him. Where can we find Jimmy Florence? He'll be hopping around the lanes toward the back. Thanks, ma'am. Let's go get him. Yeah, that's su suspect. That is sus. I just don't know. Down the left side of the house. Hard sus. Oh. I can just run down there? You're the reason, brothers and sisters. Where's that goddamn waitress? Oh, okay. That's one heck of a Sunday. Tiernan! Detective Sus is here. Coming for you. Put on the jets, buddy. Let's go. Oh, no. We got a car chase, huh? That's okay. I'm really good at car chases. There! Like a nice car. What are you waiting for? Get after it. You might go faster if we weren't carrying the extra weight. These are flashy cars to be parked outside a bowling alley. We're yeah. To track a fast living individual with money to burn. Or a middle aged individual with the need to feel virile. You gotta get me closer. Another runner. At least we've got a suspect. Why do they always run? I'm sure we've got the wrong person. One of these homicides, but they always seem to land. You know, your theories are not airtight by any means. Hit it! Clean this asshole off the road. Keep it steady and I'll try to bust his tires. This isn't the killer, we can at least get him from reckless and Put your hands in the air! Hey, do you have Rusty firing rounds under the Ellie's sidewalks? It's hilarious. Yeah. It's just... Randomly squeezing off bullets blazing through crowded traffic. Oh. Another crime solved. I'll take this nice car home. Uh, like I said, that other lead. Yeah, check out McCaffrey's place. Let's shake it down, steal some shit. What is this music? Oh, this is like the classical station? Oh, no, wait, this is just the Ellie Noir soundtrack. Alright. Sure you can. You're visiting LA. I get the point. What do you have going on here? Yeah, now that you said that, you put the powerful need for in and out in my head. I think I think it's finally clicked over. I still am not b the biggest fan of in and out, but there is a part of me now that is like, yeah, that's, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. I think I'm still a Whataburger guy, but coming around. Yeah, the classical station in Forza works really well. It makes everything so dramatic and, like, elegant. That's always kind of more Forza, or the Gran Turismo vibe, but I like it. It's a nice change of pace from, like, relentless drum and bass. I hate in and out they always get my order wrong. I don't know how I've been there three times and it was always wrong. Yeah. I don't know that I've... Hold on. Have I driven this? People in LA really like raising, cane, raising canes. I guess I have. Uh, if they do, I don't know, man. I'm not a huge fan. That's alright, I guess. New research study gave in and out an F for use of antibiotics in their burgers, which made me angry. Whataburger got an A+, plus, though. Huh.
Ports also does a thing where they will it will script a music cue, which you take a lot of advantage of, like redoing the outrun stuff with the synth playing makes sense. Really? Hmm. I guess they'll cut in with like DJs and stuff. I didn't notice them hitting particular music cues though. Uh, wait, wait. Twenty-six Yale. Yeah, I don't have a number. Is there a directory? Or do I just start moving and see which door is gold? Check and rally behind Whataburger? Man, really? I always thought of all the chains, Whataburger was probably the least universally liked. Well, that's a that's an openable handle. Doesn't look like anybody's home. Mm -hmm. It's a bangable handle. Terrible shame. Means there's nobody to let us in. You want to do the honors, Phelps? I mean, I don't know that that's his apartment, but... We'll try it. I guess so. Alright. It's gonna have to be his apartment now. Smart books. You're a real piece of shit. Some bottle of wine on the end table. Mm. Don't think this is any use to us. It's a, this dude's apartment. So, oh my god. All right. Well. Hmm. Jesus. How many bloody pipes are in LA? He said he was a pimp. He said he didn't know her. And we have the book. Let's see Carruthers argue his way out of this one. But from the bowling alley. Is that you, Grosvenor? Who are you guys? What are you doing in here? From the LAPD, man. Yeah, Jacob, I agree. Go vote. If you live in Texas, go vote. Is he in trouble? Look, lady. Doesn't have to be all like. Are you going to give me trouble? Hippie commie, left it, liberal, go vote. How do we get up there? Down the hall and up the stairs. Drunk and in command of a carrier pigeon. Hmm. <laughs> Surely we can ride him up to that. A citation at least. I mean, they both seem pretty clearly involved. Oh, the other half of the letter. That's weird. They take it? letter we found inside the body. At the very least, I'd say it ties McCaffrey to the scene. Yeah? That's really weird. Why is that there? I doubt it. Yeah, Rusty can, can fucking own libs all day. That's fine. Voted today in 23. Sorry for not voting before, but I finally voted for the first time. Hey, that's awesome, man. Congratulations. Yeah, America's in a weird spot. Like, America relies on people voting, but kind of unlike Australia, they didn't make voting mandatory, even though it is it truly is a citizen's duty to vote. That's like social contract and shit. It's actually really shitty to not vote. Like, it's not just a, you can't make me feel bad about it. No, I can, actually. Well within my rights to make anyone feel real shitty for not voting, because you have to. It's like, it's like dodging jury duty. It's a shitty thing to do. Oh, God. they will run. But, America's all about giving people the, uh, the freedom to be assholes if they want to be, I guess. So... It's like leaving the seat up, throwing trash on the ground. It's like taking a piss and not washing your hands. It's like not getting your kids immunized. It's a dumb thing to not do. Oh, I'm gonna tackle this boy so hard. I'm gonna tackle him and then I'm gonna tickle him. I'm just gonna wrestle him to the ground and go tickle crazy on him. 
And then I'm going to handcuff him so he can't move, and I'm just going to keep tickling. Give it up, LAPD! There he is, officer! Also the concept of volunteerism. Not saying I agree with it, but there is that. Oh, here it comes! Ooh, yeah, turn it on! McCaffrey, you're under arrest on suspicion of murdering... Jesus! Got to love California, delaying my registration even though today's the last day to register because they can't find my DMV signature even though it definitely exists. Ugh. Unless Terranin set him up. Kinda. I don't think that asshole Jameson could have done it, do you? I mean... How do you know that McCaffrey didn't do the dog? We have a list of over 200 suspects. His name was never on it. If you think the list is exhaustive, Rusty, who am I to argue? Listen, let's just work the case in hand, shall we? Then we can sit down and put all the puzzle pieces together and we'll later. I'll hold you to that. What percentage of America typically votes? It's very low. It's depressingly low. For company, or for, sorry, for country, where su supposedly fought numerous wars, on the mere basis of representation and protecting democracy, it is a sad state of the human race that history is forgotten so quickly and that fundamental rights are taken for granted so easily. Jesus, Phelps! That was pretty awesome. Whoa! Alright, whatever. I really shouldn't be going in here, but I am. They don't want wars for those reasons, so the point is moot in reality, unfortunately. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, there's... History's complicated. For sure. I'm not gonna say that, like, every war was fought to preserve purity and justice. There's a variety of, of gross reasons, but... You can make it stick with one of these suspects, gentlemen. It's either McCaffrey or Tiernan, sir. I think Jameson is an aberration. All right. I'll deal with that degraded lunatic myself. He's got some fearful retribution coming. Tiernan is a one, McCaffrey is a two. I want a confession from one of them. Oh, we got one of these, huh? Don't fail me, young Phelps. Well, I can blaze through this with intuition. Because last time I was in this position, I feel like I did, I biffed it pretty hard, but we'll see how it goes. You ready to answer some questions? You think I have all the answers? So smirky. People who run from the police usually have something to hide. Touche, detective. Let's see where this takes us. Good night, Will. Evelyn died sometime around midnight. Remind me, where were you? I was at home, writing. I'm working on a manuscript. And he's looking away, but I don't have any evidence that puts him anywhere else at that time. Two rings, time of death, handbag, lot ID, torn letter, stick. Oh, maybe there's that. Just by seeing victim in her hotel with Tiernan on the night of the murder. He says he was at home. You're lying, McCaffrey. You were out at the rail yard. And what do you have that proves I was there? At the rail yard? I guess the torn letter. That doesn't really prove he was there. But maybe that's what they want. The tire iron? Was it torn letter the other guy? No, it was in McCaffrey's apartment. Right? Yeah, intuition time, I think. Looks like I was mistaken. But intuition will just tell you lie. It won't tell you the evidence to present, right? 51 got correct answers after using an intuition point on this question. Oh, it's... Okay, so that means that intuition probably tells you to use lie, but it doesn't tell you the evidence. Doesn't the book put him there? No, the book was in her... The book was in her, like, shanty 
shanty apartment. I ask the community. Okay, so it is a lie. I yeah. It's totally a lie, but it's so it's it's either tire iron or torn letter. Yeah, found in possession of the victim and McCaffrey. I think it's this. I'm gonna try this. How about half? Yeah. Of last correspondence with her daughter. What are you talking about? After you were done beating Evelyn, you searched her and found her mother's letter. That old lady's anguish amused you. I know nothing about a letter or Evelyn's goddamn mother. So what was it doing on your writing desk? I don't know, but if I didn't put it there, somebody else did. Try exercising your powers of deduction on that. This fucking guy. I mean, yeah, I guess he was set up. But is the pin setter at the bowling alley really a criminal mastermind? Something seems odd here. Also, I didn't get shit for answering that correctly, which is kind of frustrating. I knew that there was, there's always like... The facade is going to break down at some point. But. Why did you run, Tiernan? I mean, McCaffrey ran too. I was the last one to see Evelyn that night. I knew you would think it was me. You got blood on your face, dude. Can you describe your relationship with Evelyn? I, I barely knew Evelyn. Shift, 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 shift. Shift, shift, shift. Uh, no, there was, there was something saying that they hung out, right? Or they left that night together? have anything linking them. No evidence anyway. I don't have any evidence on this guy, bizarrely. I don't know why. Can you not look at your whole notebook? Like, look at people's profiles? I'm gonna lie, but we'll see what we'll see what shakes out. Have you charged in front of a grand jury before your feet touch the ground? How can you possibly prove Evelyn and I were more than friends? I don't think I can, bro. I don't think I can. Just give him a little look. I think this is a doubt. It seems like a good doubt to me. A mistake. By mistake. By mistake. Sounds like half an answer to me, Tiernan. Were you sleeping with her? That's none of your business. What? Whatever. Aristotle's Metaphysics, the book that belonged to McCaffrey. McCaffrey saw her looking at her once, laughed in her face. And you're saying Evelyn stole it. She wanted something of his. He's giving me a pretty dead on look here. You don't like McCaffrey, do you, Tiernan? He's full of the common man routine, but he props up a bar like the rest of us. Evelyn thought he was going to be a great novelist. He had nothing but vitriol for her. I don't get it. I feel like, sometimes I feel like they... No, don't go! We both want the truth here! Sometimes I feel like they set you up to not... Why can't I look at my... I want to look at my notes. Damn it. Um, sometimes I feel like they just don't give you the stuff that you need. Like, what was that? What was that even supposed to be? How was I supposed to prove they were together? I don't know. Whatever. I'll keep going. You and Evelyn were drinking together last night, and she had no other place to stay. I don't know what happened last night. I, I don't remember. That seems like a doubt. Mm. Nope, no. Keep hitting the wrong buttons. Tab. 
Let me see what he does when he, when You're I say lying, lie. You've been fighting with her. You fought. And I'm not lying. She got up and left. That was it. Oh, sorry. His stupid face was there. Damn it. Um, it is Tiernan. So I can hit him with this, right? I don't know, man. I'm kind of over this now. Oh wait, it was Tiernan's. It was Tiernan. Wait, was it Tiernan's apartment or was it McCaffrey's apartment? Do you own a car, Tiernan? No, I don't. Hmm. Have access to a lug wrench? No, we use a lot of them to clear jams in the pin setting machines. I want the truth. I think you broke into McCaffrey's apartment and planted. No, that was McCaffrey's apartment. I didn't do that, and there's no way you can prove any different. I, mean, I guess I give him. I just hit him with the pipe, the tire iron, because it's there. As hard as this is for you to come. I really loved it. What the fuck, man? She was kind and gentle to me. I don't care. She was missing a ring from her right hand. That's strange. She always wore it. A uh, big black circular disc with a white E in the middle. It was made from an old typewriter key, present from the prop department at her old movie studio. We're going to talk to McCaffrey. You need to think about what you've told us, Tiernan. You're not in the clear. What? I have nothing now. I feel like something broke. I missed something. Something important. Operator, give me R and I. Putting you through now. This doesn't feel good. I don't like this. Phelps badge twelve forty seven. How can I help, Detective? I need the jacket on a Grosvenor McCaffrey. What? Just a moment, Detective. Why am I doing this now? Thanks for your help. That's it? That's what they had to feed to me and now I'm just gonna go yell at him? I don't know. This is disappointing. But whatever, man. We'll see where it goes. Wait, no, wrong way. I guess I'm what bulking is. You were in the war? Yes, I was. Seeing the things that I saw, it changes a man. Reload the game? Nah. I came back here determined to change That's things. the game fucking up, not me. All I wanted was a pen and an opportunity to speak out. You told us before that you had only minor run-ins with the police. You didn't mention petty theft. I've never been in trouble for violence. That's the salient point here, isn't it? You're lying, McCaffrey. You have a history of violence towards women. How do you turn a couple parking tickets and a petty theft misdemeanor <sighs> into an assault charge? I'm gonna lobbing this one up, but it'll probably give me the stupid wrong jingle. We know all about you and your dishonorable discharge. That's Jeez, easy. Poor woman near to death in Syracuse. You've never been in combat, McCaffrey. Your whole life is a fraud. She was a goddamn peasant whore! She tried to steal from my wallet. I could have fought for this country i could have you beat her because she stole from you because she tried to outsmart you the ignorant audacity of the bitch what is a man supposed to do sit there and take it how is a man supposed to call himself a man and evelyn summers a poor drunken nobody stole your book and she got what was coming to her i mean it's neither of these guys also, that's that's what they had to feed me to get to like I don't want no part of end the investigations. I'll just randomly call someone. Oh, he hit somebody in the war. This sucks. I guess I don't have anything else to talk to him about. Can I even?
It won't even let me. I'll not say anything more. It won't even let me accuse him. I can't. I can't do it. I have to accuse the other guy. Man, disappointing. Why do you think it's neither of these guys? I don't know. That dude seemed genuine. Also, all the evidence I tried to present was a total whiff, according to the game. So I think they're just going somewhere else with it. What now? It's not this guy. To one of them. Your choice. It's not my choice. It's not. Yeah, hold on, let me try it one more time. Maybe it just whiffed up. He was in the bathtub. They take him his fingers. So you can sit. Yeah, there's no prompt to talk to him. Yeah, you can't. You can't. Man, I wonder what the hell they wanted me to do in that conversation. Huh. Oh, whatever. Sorry, buddy. I'm charging you with the murder of Evelyn Summers. She was a sad lady. Them's the brakes, buddy. I hope God finds a way to forgive you. Can't accuse him because you have nothing to base it on. Congratulations, boys. You bagged the fine catch. Working with him. The red to boot. Grant. Now. I want you to put this business about a repeat offender out of your mind. This McCaffrey creature shows no remorse, and neither will the grand jury. You would have to walk a long mile to find a better candidate for an unmarked plot in the prison graveyard. Jesus Christ, they're so smug. <laughs> we'll have fun reading poetry in prison. Feels good. <laughs> Oof. Okay, so I did miss a few clues. That's weird. I thought I was ever I thought I was in investigation places until until the the music shut off. I don't know. Yeah, he definitely had an ascot. Man, I got to stop there though. It's getting late. Yeah, three stars somehow. We have lost most of Shaughnessy and Dunn's squad. His gunny is dead, first platoon is in worse shape. That medic is the crazy or the bravest man alive. Now we rally with the first, the try for the Nambu. Ah. I'll pick this up again later. I'll just keep playing it after I finish streaming. Thanks for watching, guys. But it's it's a school night. And for all you guys, too. We all gotta be responsible, so. Thanks for watching. I guess I'll stream tomorrow? Yeah, I think I will. Should be. There's something else going on that I don't remember, but... See you guys tomorrow. Bye, everybody.
39 is this way. Then you went down 19. <laughs> what? Put 100 in again. Don't tell me. Look at this dot. What's that dot? 19. How many is it over? 39. No, just that one dot. That mm -hmm. one. No, it's not. <laughs> Zero. Right. Uh, how many is it down? 19. Okay. But I'm over here. I know. You want to you want to go to zero nineteen. I tell the computer what to do, and that comes from from me. From inside, I think it comes. What's up in the screen? It's me, Enrique. Yeah, I said that's me. Oh, I look at I, what I did. Uh, Make me feel proud. It really makes you happy. It just makes you feel accomplished, feel good. And then I see my design up there. It's really great because you know you've accomplished something and sort of beaten the computer and make making it do what you want. <laughs>